Hello guys and welcome to another log of Lugamon Dim and for today's log we have Stephilmon uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly but yes Philmon has evolved and we have Stephilmon the ultimate form in Harrismon's evolution line so before I continue with today's log just have to say if you're a fan of Digimon or raising virtual pets you've come to the right channel because this channel focuses on raising Digimon and documenting them and I upload at least twice a week so if you like such content go ahead and bash up the like and subscribe button with Stephilmon's Knuckles and we'll talk a little bit about that when we see his profile in terms of origin of his name and etymology um, there's actually two names to Stephilmon um, the Japanese name is Typhomon, I guess <laughs> because it's spelled S-T-I-F-F-I-L so it's, it's, it sounds like it's Typhilmon Stephilmon um, and in that origin of his name, um, I think S-T-I-F-F is in reference to the word stiff. So it's kind of like stiff and F-I-L as mentioned in the previous log for Philmon is wire, a French word for wire. So it could mean stiff wire, maybe. Um, on the other hand, the English name is S-T-E-F-I-L, um, which is probably reference to steel. Um, yeah, so maybe it's trying to say that it's like a steel wire. Though I don't, that's, that sounds a, li a bit counterintuitive to me. Uh, usually, wires are made of copper or gold. I think that steel, steel is usually strong, durable. If I remember my metal properties correctly, not the best material to make into a wire. But I guess it's just trying to say that it has um, steel, strong as steel. Right, probably the strength of a steel, but still, you know, having the electrical properties of a wire. So I don't know. I feel the Japanese name makes a little bit more sense to me, but either way, it works. Let's look at the profile. Um, only a small number of Philmon can temper their quills to their limits, achieving its ultimate forms. Okay, so maybe tempering the quills, maybe it just means refining the properties to be as strong as steel, I guess. The quills all over Stephilmon are said to rival Red Digizoid in their sturdiness, acting as both a shield around its body and pikes, boasting unparalleled attack strengths. The hurricane knuckles on its arms are its pride and joy, highly condensing its shed fur to form weapons. It trains diligently, dreaming of the day it can trade blows with its perceived rival Wurgarumon. Hey, I like that. I never knew that there is this parallel a uh, rivalry going on between Stephilmon and Wurgarumon uh, but I do notice that they wear kind of um, strikingly uh, fashionable pants I guess Wurgarumon wears tattered jeans so Stephilmon uses his special move Giga Crimson Dive to perform a high speed drilling charge that's cool hacking the enemy to pieces with his bristling quills and his hurricane knuckles or vermilion vortex to extend red drill shaped spears from its body that obliterate multiple foes at once. Honestly, it looks really cool. And Stephilmon, if you have seen his uh, artwork, it's intimidating, but it's kind of hard to see what's really going on in his design. But when you look at Stephilmon here, on his sprite, I think it's very clear, and it's very cool, and I think it's very well designed, very defined. Let's see it in action on the bracelet and I've got something sh exciting to show you when it's on the bracelet guys because there's an update on my end for the bracelet. But yeah, uh, before we continue any further as well, if you think about the name, I've been thinking about the name, I think steel wire is just really strange because steel is definitely not the best material to use for a wire. Yeah, if I recall correctly, wire, wires need to be malleable, um, bendable easily, which is why usually you use copper and gold, which are pure metals. And if you use steel, which is not a pure metal, then it's not going to be bendable unless you're making an electrical conductor that doesn't need to be bendable, like a rod. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going too deep on this wire thing. Um, yeah, let's see Stephomon on the bracelet. The app's really slow, I find, recently. Um, so um, I'm just gonna cut short and skip right to the part where it's on the bracelet. See you on the bracelet, Stephilmon. Oh, okay, it's up. Right. See you then. 
Bye. Alright guys, and here we have Staphylmon on the bracelet and as I mentioned, as you can see, something looks different on the bracelet because I finally caved in um, and installed this custom roll-up mod made by Cyanic. So, as you know, Panda has been releasing official firmware updates on the bracelet but there are a group of uh, users out there who are really good at this coding stuff and Cyanic is one of them and he made this roll-up mod that has a lot of interesting features there is an additional kind of think of it as a homebrew upgrade of the user experience on the vital bracelet so it's added a few nifty features first of all very noticeably you will see that the date uh, is also presented usually your vital bracelet only shows a time so it actually provides the date now the battery life looks different as well usually you have just three levels one two three you know you have two thirds left or one third left He's made it such that you can actually see a more dynamic view of the battery life. Um, so it really moves at an 11 point scale apparently, uh, instead of just 3 points. So you know if your battery is low and it's really low. Um, interestingly, you notice the background looks different because as you know, every BE memory dim has multiple backgrounds as you advance through the adventure mission. But when you're placing your Digimon on the home screen, there's only one type of background for that BE memory and they kept the rest of the adventure mission backgrounds um, hidden so in this case he managed to add this feature where you can unlock and select those hidden backgrounds so if you check it out it has nine so there's actually each dim usually has a default background which is number four and there are actually five more backgrounds that the VE memory contains but it's not selectable normally but this roll-up mod made by Cyanic allows you to select the other backgrounds so you see there's one more with a neon sign there's one more with the city view and there's one more with this shrine looking thing there's one more with this vortex thing so cool I think it's really cool and it's really cool that he managed to do this another thing that um, he also added which I think is a nifty feature is the evolution time so if you look at it the status usually you have evolution time um, for the Digimon and it's just in hours and only when you are after the last hour you get to see the number of minutes left but in this case you have managed to put both hour and minute so you can tell exactly how much time is left for your Digimon to evolve another thing is instead of it just highlighting the yellow stats when your Digimon has fulfilled the stats requirement he clearly shows an indicator that this is the form that is going to evolve into um, the next will actually become a star with yellow or something like that to clearly show that it's going to be evolving so for example um, I think I think my um, in my second slot this additional Lugamon that I was raising has really fulfilled the stats I think it's an easier way to showcase that feature ah you can tell okay oh no this is not the best he hasn't fulfilled most of the stats requirements okay but if we get a chance you can see it again but the the next actually lights up i think it shows two stars on the side that really shows exactly which digimon you're going to get when you fulfill those requirements so i think that's really clear and it's very useful but to top it all up there's two more features that has made me decide really to try this roll-up mod one is continuous training so we'll showcase that in a moment um anyway let's just see this is the static um, animation for Stephelmon if you want to see the walking animation just gotta shake it a few times make sure that it's walked at least like 10 steps and then the moment you bring up the screen again you will see the walking animation so that's usually how it works there we go you can see it's walking it's walking so that was a static at first that's the one you're looking at but this is the walking animation and let's talk about the sprite it looks really good now i'll talk about the other two features for sure don't worry about that um while we are going through stephomon's log this is a sleeping animation all right looks good when he's sleeping as well very nice very well designed very defined i like the sprite quality 
the B memory. I can't say it enough. All right, what about the the thing that I was mentioning? Um, if you look at the training animation, it is really good. Ah, uh, no, not training animation. Aside from training animation, the training feature that this uh, this uh, rollout mod has is continuous training. So usually, after you select a training, and let's say we select punch, and let's document that, right? It will just at the end of 20 seconds, it will just finish its training and you have to press B again to do punch again. So this is this is a, a little bit of a hassle for those who are trying to do continuous training to increase the stats for a specific... Uh, looking for a specific stat increase. So if you're trying to increase attack, you have to keep pressing B once the training ends and you have to keep pressing B again once the training ends. But here, if you have trained successfully, it will actually move on to the next one. So that was one example. Let's see when it's successful, you will see that it can actually just move on to the next training. So once it's successful, you will see that you don't have to select punch again. It will just move on to the next round without you having to press B. So that's extremely convenient, especially for tamers like me who want to continuously raise the step. And move on. See, I didn't have to press anything. It just moved on to the next. Only when it fails. So I think that's a good um, example as well. Do you see that when I failed the training, then it stopped? Maybe when you are doing a training, and maybe it's inconvenient for you to continue. Once you fail, they actually auto stop that training. So that's very convenient feature as well. But definitely, my point is that I often find myself uh, rushing through the stats, trying to raise the. HP, BP, and AT all to 999 at one shot. And this feature definitely helps because you don't have to keep pressing B again and again and again. Um, when I do it before using this mod, I have to keep pressing B and sometimes I end up forgetting or missing out. And then I have to go and select through the training options again. But this time, if I use this mod, I don't have to do any of that. I just have to keep going and grinding at the stack without having to keep checking my watch screen and pressing B. So that's one additional feature that's great. The other feature has to do with battle. And let's get on to that. Um, the minor feature that has added is this nifty trick. You don't have to use NFC to trigger battles. You just press B at the side. There we go. So I don't have to pause and cut the video for battle. I just have to press this. All right, Rust Tyranomon is a little too strong for Step one, let's try again. Um, it's an ultimate. Alright, Lugarmon is a good balance. Uh, ultimate against champion, but it's data against virus. So it'll probably, it might even lose, but that's a good example. Alright, the other feature that I mentioned is not just about the pressing B to trigger battle, but it is the fact that your old dims from the Vital Bracelet series, all the Vital Bracelet characters have the option of support characters. So you hear me right. Currently, on the official firmware, only BE memory characters get to have support characters coming in to uh, fight. But in the roll-up mod, oh, and unfortunately, Stephomon has lost the battle. <gasps> oh no. But anyway, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, I will just complete this part of the log. Um, currently, only BE memory characters get to enjoy the support character coming in during battle to help out their ally. The old Vital Bracelet series, even though you can designate a support character, they don't actually come in to help. And during the battle, they might, they won't just, they, they will just not be able to participate even though there's a support character sitting there. Um, and same for your Vital Bracelet series characters like your Ultraman or your Kamen Rider Dims. But with this roll-up mod, it unlocks the opportunity for your Vital Bracelet series, um, Digimon and Ultraman or Kamen Rider to support each other during battle. And you hear me right, even the Ultraman can support a Digimon in battle. How cool is that? So. 
that is something really interesting um, for this rollout mod and I, I mentioned in the in an earlier unboxing video that I bought an Ultraman Tiga Dim just for fun so loading Ultraman Tiga Dim here and being able to see support from Ultraman um, will be really useful as well so this mod it's is really good and that's the reason why I decided to just try it out and the installation process is not too difficult if you're interested in knowing how to do it um, please feel free to uh, leave a comment in the section below and I can share how to actually do that but yeah um, that's it for today's log on Stephomon and I hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't already please go ahead and bash up the like and subscribe button with Stephomon's uh, knuckles and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye now just to add on that final note um, I managed to reach the stats requirements so just to show this um, star this is how it looks like so it's especially useful if you have fulfilled multiple evolution criteria of different Digimon it very clearly states what you're exactly going to evolve into because technically you see I have um, reached the evolution requirements for Ryzen Mon as well as Ryzen Mon Fury mode so at least it clarifies that okay you're going to evolve into Ryzen Mon because you can see the two stars there and this doesn't have the two stars right so I think it's really useful especially for those where the evolution requirements are very ambiguous because they are like crisscrossing over the place like Imperial Dramon Paladin and Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode for the Imperial Dramon Dim. I think that's a little tricky there and so um, yeah I think this feature is also very useful but more importantly it was the two features that I mentioned the continuous training one as well as the support for uh, bracelet vital bracelet series kind of dims the older dims which is not available on official firmware so that's it signing off again thank you